Hey everyone, it's your buddy Bella and Mossy Mom. We are going on an adventure for the next couple of nights. We're going to do a bicycle backpacking trip. We're going to stay at a sweet little campsite, take in the river, do some rock hunting, do some reading, and just generally relax. I've got my bicycle all packed up with the heaviest stuff, and I don't have much of anything in my backpack. Well, that's not true. I have a lot of stuff in my backpack, but it's all the light stuff. We are definitely not ultralight camping today. I've actually got a fire log in my bicycle. You ready to go? Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Bella has a backpack on. She's never actually worn it with a load before. I'm going to go at a pretty good pace here because I don't want Bella crashing through the woods and jumping in giant mud puddles with her backpack on. I prefer to have her just running behind me for now. I expect I'll do a lot of walking like I do on all my bicycle journeys. Honestly, I'm using my bicycle as a wheelbarrow. We came here and camped at right about this same time last year. But we took a slightly different route and I didn't scout it out ahead of time last year. Ran into a lot of snow. I think a lot of us, myself included, might be surprised at the number of cars that you can find out here in the Olympics that have gone over the embankment. This is one of my favorite ones right down there. It's been down there a while. I've been down there and cleared all the moss off of it. It was totally covered in moss at one point. I forget the exact model, but it's a 54 or 55 Oldsmobile something or other. Come on out of there, Bella. You're going to get your food wet. Uh, her food in the bags is just barely above the water level. Now we've made it to the part where last year I was really struggling in the snow, pushing my bike, wondering if I even wanted to continue with the journey. Much better this time. Much better. I'll be getting off my bike pretty soon though. Oh boy, here's an obstacle. As heavy as my bike is right now, I really don't want to have to lift it up over anything. I think we'll be okay here. I remember seeing this when I came through before on foot. Yay. We're still on a closed road, but this section of road has been closed for quite some time. You used to be able to drive up here in a car, go around the corner there, and park at a viewpoint that overlooked the river. Okay, we are now hitting the trail proper, and I am not a mountain biker, so I am off the bike for the rest of this journey. And it's going to be fun pushing my bike back up this on the way out, but at least it'll be quite a bit lighter by then. Bella's walking behind me. I guess she doesn't know how to get around my bicycle with her wide load. What do you think, buddy? Come on, you can come around. There you go. Got a couple of big obstacles coming up here. Hopefully I can squeeze my bike under that log down there that's going across the trail. It shouldn't be too hard to get it up over this one because we're going downhill. Oh, this is not a good thing to be doing when I'm trying to recover from a sprained wrist, though. Wow. That did not feel good on my right wrist. I've got to try to just use my left wrist for this stuff. There we go. Yeah, oh boy. I don't know. If I didn't have these saddlebags on, there would be no doubt that I could squeeze my bike under this log coming up. But with the saddlebags on, I'm not so sure if I can. Oh, they're not that wide. I'll be able to do it. And maybe I'll push this log out of the way next time. Wow. Oh, gosh. I'm in danger of rolling this log over onto myself. 
Wow. I might just push my bike back up and then roll the log down from above. <laughs> the sprocket was catching this log. Yeah, this isn't... Oh, I was going to say this isn't that heavy. Maybe I can just lift it up out of the way. Bella, move. Move. Bella, come on up here. Yeah, but not on the log I'm trying to move. Over there. Come on. Keep going. Come on. There you go. There you go. I'm going to try to get this. No, no, stop. Oh, geez. Stop. Oh, Bella. Oh. I want to get this log down there. The problem is the dog keeps going down there. Well, pay attention to what I'm doing, Bella. Don't let this log get you. Bella, go! Oh, Bella. You're making this impossible. Oh, ow! Gosh, this doesn't want to move. It looked like it would be so easy to dislodge this and roll it down the hill. I genuinely thought I was going to roll it over onto myself, and now, there. God. I'm going to have to deal with that log again, but I can at least get through this part for now. Oh, I'm going to try to slide my bicycle under here. Yeah, I think that'll work. I'm going to have to take my pack off, though. Quite an obstacle. And we'll have to do that again on the way up. And it will be uphill, so it's going to be even harder. But it will be with a lighter load anyway. All right, let's do this. There we go. This is the last switchback, and I'm so tempted to ride my bike down here, but I better not. I'm all alone out here, and I'm not getting any younger. And it takes me longer to heal now when I do get hurt. This wrist is taking way longer than it should. So Allie will play it safe and just push my bike down here. So maybe next year and the year after and the year after that, if I'm careful, I can keep doing stuff like this. At last, down to the river bottom. Now all we have to do is cross a raging river a side stream, I mean a raging side stream, and then we'll be at our campsite. We are so close now. The next stop is going to be our campsite. The smell of cottonwood buds is thick in the air. I love it. it would be nice to find some verpas here. Oh, one more log to go over. Darn it. I thought that was our last obstacle. Okay. Let's switch sides so I can lift this with my left hand. We are so close. There it is. Our beautiful little shelter up on the hill. Just gotta get up this hill. Woo! Woo! Come on. Come on, come on, woo, we did it, we did it, we made it. Okay, Bella, let's get your backpack off. There you go, you're free. Don't jump on me, you are not free to jump on me. Yay. This place has been vandalized a little bit since I was last here. People pulled some of the shingles out here. I don't know why they didn't burn them for firewood, so I don't know what's the point of doing that. But I brought a hammer and some nails. I'm going to try to fix that. And then also there's been some shingles pulled out over here. Last year at this time, these here had been pulled out. Right there. 
I just picked up a bunch of glass out of the fire pit too. I'm not going to share where this is. If you know, you know. But I don't want to share because it's getting treated badly. I don't think it's going to be around much longer though, even without people tearing it apart. Because there's a couple of big dead trees right there and there. And they would crush the shelter if they fell on it. Hopefully they don't fall tonight. Yeah, it makes me a little anxious the thought of sleeping under that tree. I've got this really cool bag that holds water. It holds a lot of water too. Just fill it up like this. This ultralight. And it holds so much water. Love this bag. It's just made out of uh, silicone impregnated nylon. I've had it for a long time now too. I wouldn't be surprised if it starts leaking sometime, and if it does, I won't be upset because I've definitely got my money's worth. And the way you use it is you hang it from a tree, or you can even set it down like that. Look at that, and it just stays. How cool is that? There, hung it up from the rafters, and now I've got lots of water, probably enough for tonight and halfway through tomorrow. This would be a really good thing to use for a dry camp. Holds a lot of water, but doesn't weigh anything to pack in. Pretty much set up in here now. Got my sleeping bag out. Trying to get it to puff up a little bit. Kitchen area ready. So now I think I'm going to see if I can do anything to fix these holes here. These really bother me. Okay, I got it looking a lot better. It's not perfect, but it's much better. And I was going to go around and try to pound all these nails back in a little bit, but what do you think happened when I was pounding on these nails? A bat came out of here. So I disturbed a bat. Ugh, poor thing. So bats live in here. That's kind of cool. Hope I didn't hurt any. Gosh, what a little tiny crack for a bat to come out of. Wow. But yeah, I... I guess I'll call it good because I don't want to injure any bats. Where did that bat come from? Because this is just the other side of where I was, so it must have... Where did it live? Okay, I've done the best I can with the materials I have to fix this. There's still some gaps because some of the shingles have been burned. They're not here anymore. So if you know where this is, please come down here and bring some shingles with you and the hammer and nails and let's get this thing fixed back up again so I think the more shingles that go missing the more people are gonna get the idea to tear off the rest of the shingles and this is a special place I don't want to see it destroyed it's a little bit early to be hanging my food but I think I'll go ahead and try to demonstrate how to hang a food bag to try to keep bears out of it Going to aim for that branch right there, just like last year. It was a good branch. Why well, miss with success? So what I'm going to do is take a rock and put it in a plastic bag and tie my rope to that. And then that'll give me enough heft to swing the rope over the tree. That's the theory anyway. Okay, I'm going to attempt to throw this bag over that limb. We got the thing up there in the end. There we go, that's how it will be hung. Took me way more tries to get that up there than it should have. I held the varsity shot put record in my junior high. Why was that so difficult to throw that rock over that branch?
Oh well, at least I got it up there, right? Right. It's time to sit down with a cup of coffee and maybe do some reading or watch some YouTube videos that I downloaded. I'm watching uh, Nick Zentner's Geology 101 series. I took Geology 101 back in the spring of 87, but now I get to take it again thanks to Nick Zentner posting college classes on YouTube for free. How cool is that? So I'm learning a lot of geology and I'm going to share some of what I learned on my YouTube videos, maybe starting with this one. So anyway, cheers. <laughs> That was a hard-earned cup of coffee. Now that we're all settled into the shelter, let's go down and check out the river. Got some snow-capped mountains up there. Some rocky basalt sticking out, bits of Silesia, I presume. Some people like sleeping next to rivers, they find the white noise soothing, but I don't. Because rivers make random noises. Rivers really are not white noise. Because in the night, you can hear the rocks rolling around in the river. And those rocks sound like animals crossing the river to me. There's definitely some interesting rocks down here. We've got a lot of uh, red shirt right there. I know some people call that jasper but it's chert and then we've got some green rocks that people call jasper as well but i don't think that is jasper either and i looked up the name of it before i left and i've already forgotten it but there are a lot of pretty rocks here i can't remember i don't know if chert is sedimentary or metamorphic i feel like it's sedimentary and so this would be the layers it laid down in but then later on, something hot came and intruded. Bella's being kind of clingy. She's got horse flies pestering her. And she's coming to me for help, but I really can't help her with her horse flies. Here's a pile of rocks that people have collected. Lots of white quartz in these. You can tell a river came through here at one point. I guess most of you won't be surprised that dinner tonight is noodles. I know, really original. But in our noodles, we are going to have, oops, dried cauliflower mushroom, dried smoked rainbow trout, and some dried kale from my garden, and ramen noodles, and lots of hot sauce. For breakfast, I'm going to have this instant brown rice with half of these dried blueberries. Go ahead and start getting that ready. And then I won't have to cook the rice because I'm going to soak it in water overnight. And by morning, it's going to be completely rehydrated. And in the morning, I might heat it up just a little bit and I'll add milk and sugar to it. And that makes one of my favorite backpacking breakfasts. Camp is set up and it's not quite dinner time yet. So that must mean it's time for a step two. Some of you might know who I'm referencing. So cheers to you, Steve Wallace. It's 6.30 and it's starting to get a little bit chilly. And one thing I've definitely learned, if I want to stay warm at night, I can't allow myself to get cold at all before I go to bed. So I'm going to try lighting this fire log. I've never taken a fire log backpacking before. Bella, you are being a pest. Let's see how it goes. Bella's being super clingy because she's got horse flies bugging her. So I'm going to use this fire log as fire starter. This log is supposed to burn for something like two and a half hours. If it does, that'll be perfect. I'm going to start using it to warm up some water now to go in my hot water bottle and for tea. Maybe I did something wrong, but the fire log has gone out. I think maybe I had to have it sitting up on top of something, so I'm going to try relighting it. I'll end up lighting my fire tonight the old-fashioned way, I guess, with newspaper. 
Not just any newspaper. The Shelton Mason County Journal. I stopped by the office and picked up some old issues right before I drove out to the woods. Hopefully all that newspaper lights my fire log. This fire log is working out really well. It does have a long burn time. My water in the pot's almost boiling. And right before the fire log goes out, I'll use it to get some of this wood burning. And I'm drying this wood out by having it near the fire log. This orange coat actually belonged to Sage. And Sage was so big, so fat, that her coat fits easily. I'll turn this way, honey. Her coat fits easily over Bella's coat. So she can have two layers. There. And Bella likes wearing clothes. She really cooperates well. So hopefully having two coats on will keep her warm enough. So here's my setup. Camp stool, campfire, television. <laughs> Time for some more Geology 101. Some of the other wood around the fire pit that I was drying is already starting to catch fire. Going to have a nice, comforting fire most of the night here, probably, which is good because I get scared when I'm alone at night. Going to hang the bear bag now, and I moved it. And of course, because the camera wasn't on, I nailed it the first try. And this time I actually have it far enough away from the tree. Here's my actual food bag, and I'm not really worried about bears out here because all we have is black bears, and black bears are scared of people. Every time I've seen a black bear, it's ran from me. I'm more worried about mice. The saying goes, you're much more likely to be bothered by a mouse than a mountain lion. It's true. I do, however, have bear spray with me, and I will keep it close to me tonight. I sleep really, really cold, and over the years, I've struggled a lot with trying to stay warm at night when I go camping. And I finally found a solution. It won't work all the time because it's too heavy of a solution. Hot water bottle in the sleeping bag. I'd like to maybe find a smaller hot water bottle than this. Well, it's just about bedtime. I'm going to sit up by the fire a little bit longer. Okay. Got a nice cheerful fire and I'm going to stall a bit before I go to bed because I really don't like being alone in the woods at night. It frightens me. I'm not going to sleep well, so I'm going to stay up late. I'm not frightened yet because I got a nice fire going and that's really cheerful and I'm watching my YouTube program, but if it's like most of the other times I've spent the night in the woods alone, I will soon be startled. Got Bella with me though and she is being hyper alert. At first it was frightening me that she was being hyper alert. But it's just squirrels and stuff she's looking at. And I think actually if a large animal tried to come through here, she would bark, even though Bella is not known for barking. I've had her like a year and a half. I've heard her bark maybe 10 times. I think though she's on high alert tonight and she would bark if something happened. She would let me know. So here's my nice cozy bed. I'm about to get into it. I'm not going to make a video of me getting in bed. I've got nothing to set my camera on here. So, good night, and I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. We had a pretty good night. I got some sleep. And we had a beautiful, bright, full moon, and the moon was up all night, so it never got dark. The moon came up just as it was starting to get dark outside, so it never actually got dark. That was great. I didn't get very scared in the night because it was so nice and light. And I didn't get a lot of sleep, but I actually feel pretty rested, so maybe I slept almost as much as I sleep at home. It's coffee time. Cheers. warming up my breakfast. It didn't completely rehydrate last night, but pretty close. Here comes the sun over the hill. Now I get to spend the entire day here. It's warming up. He doesn't need to wear two coats now. 
fact, she doesn't even need to wear one coat now. Get them both off of her. There you go. You're free of your coat. Yay. Yeah. I don't know if Belle is enjoying our camping trip or not. She spent most of the night awake, seemingly worrying about things. And now she's spending a lot of the time today being hounded by horseflies. So, don't know how much fun this dog's having. It's step two time again. It's about 6.30 on our second day here. Had a pretty relaxing day. I'm going to go ahead and start the fire a little bit sooner than I had planned because there's bugs bugging us. Aren't there, Bella? Yes, Bella. Come show your face. Are there bugs bugging us? There are. So hopefully I set this up so that I just light the lighter and off it goes. Don't have the fire log tonight. That was kind of cheating last night. Yep, it's going good now. I won't keep it this big. Just starting it out big to get it good and hot and make a stable bed of coals that'll keep the fire going throughout the night. Good morning. I slept okay last night. I didn't get scared at all, really. I mean, I was a little anxious right around, you know, sundown, but I didn't actually get scared at all because the moon was so full and I knew it was going to stay up all night, so that was really great. Um, I'm still a little sleep deprived, though, because I was up doing um, time-lapse movies of the moon and the campfire. Yeah, but all in all a good night, and I've got the fire going this morning because I'm a little low on fuel and there were some sprinkles coming from the sky. I guess it's just going to be kind of misty and gray all day. That's okay. I'll hang out around the campfire, do some reading, and then I'll probably pack up to leave at about 1 o'clock or so. Okay, all ready to go. Time to put my backpack on. Time to freeze my feet off. Good job, Bella! Here we go. This is gonna be the hardest part of this whole trip, in or out, I think. It's pushing my bike up this hill with a pack on my back. It was a great trip. I'm glad I got out, and I definitely want to do it again soon. Really good to get away from the city. So, um, thanks for watching this video. I appreciate all your likes and comments and subscribes, and please stay tuned until next time. Thanks for watching.